Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Reb. We are back with more Between the Stars. Thank you for joining me yet again. I know last episode we didn't have a whole lot of combat. This one we should. We should be diving straight into it here. So... Let us venture forth and get some. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Appreciated 85% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe, so do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. The bigger my channel gets, the better the games I can get for you guys. So, all right, here we go. Oof. It's Commander Astra, along with the rest of the squad. Hold on as long as you can. Zerks, Polaris, cover the flanks. I want all damaged ships to pull back immediately. Commander. We'll need all our men to break through. You're welcome to leave the battlefield if you're scared, Zerks. No way! I'll finish them off one by one. May the sun light your way. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Uh oh. That seems a little harsh. Somebody's been drinking a little too much of that old Kool-Aid. Oops, sorry, hit the wrong ship. Friendly fire! One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Well done. May, send a damage report to my terminal immediately. Is that it? Some of the enemy ships have managed to warp, Commander. We must follow them. It's too late for that. Let our best captains escort the damaged ships to Sol Invictus. I don't want any more surprises. The rest will go with us to the surface. And what are we gonna do on the surface? The Renegade Army is already alerted, Commander. I'm sure they'll be expecting our attack. If they had any chance against us on the surface, they would have waited for us to land and tried to ambush us. They must be desperate to launch such an attack. They have good reason to be. Now that we have confirmed their position, it's only a matter of time. We will raise Hell's Gulch and annihilate the traitors. So be it. That dude needs to take a chill pill. Oh, look at that. Twenty one and eighteen. Holy crap. Fourteen. Sheesh. Won't be upgrading much of that for a while. All right. I thought we were trying to buy the Renegade Army some time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Take another fight. Congratulations, you've made it onto my blacklist. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Target's neutralized, crew. We're out of danger. Yeah, 
I don't think we got any on that one. I knew I saw it. There's no other option. If Norto's men capture any of the renegade army leaders and they become aware of your true plans, it'll all end up here. Now that you know what Vanleth is capable of, it won't even be necessary to question the prisoner. It won't matter if he's willing to talk. They'll just download his memory and let him die. This is the only thing you can do. You'll stick to the plan, even if your hands get dirty. If necessary, you'll be the one to execute prisoners before letting them fall into Nartos' hands. Everyone ready? We'll advance in formation following the river. The renegade army knows we're here and they're ready. Stay alert and show no mercies. May the sun light your way. You catch a glimpse of Zerk's wicked grin as the soldiers cheer. Uh, you lead the group along the riverbank that leads to the city. The soldiers remain silent and the tissue begins to show. As you move forward, you make, you make out metal, metal structures built on the canyon walls. Hell's Gulch stands firmly on vertical walls, like massive honeycombs connected to one another through large bridges and elevators. You're in clear disadvantage. The terrain forces you to access the village on foot, which gives your enemies a perfect shooting position. From the height of the platforms, a few marksmen could cause a fair amount of casualties among your aches. Yep. You're getting closer to the elevators that give access to the upper levels. Once there, you'll be much more protected from the enemy's line of fire. A whistle catches your attention and you signal for the group to stop. On the river, you can see the light of a red flare which crosses the sky. Fire in the hole! The barrage of laser shots causes the group to disperse. You try to stay undercover while you search for the shooters, but there isn't much you can do. There's still too much distance to the elevator platforms that gives access to the city, and there's no place where you can find cover. You're sitting ducks. Your only hope is to run to the platform while engaging as many shooters as you can. Don't stop. We must move. Keep moving forward. The group runs as fast as they can, trying to avoid enemy shots unsuccessfully. Many soldiers are wounded, while others are instantly killed by the running aids. Army shooters. Captain Xerxes comes forward, opening fire on one of the platforms. There they are. The men shoot blindly at the platforms while you run towards them, trying to reduce the losses. Even a few stray bullets manage to hit the renegade army soldiers. The enemy fire rate doesn't stop. As you move forward... You start to make out snipers hidden in the towers and on the elevator platforms. You look back and see Jackson along with the rest of the crew nodding at your command. Take them down. So. Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like it almost lets me have use a couple of these when they highlight. Wonder how you would select the crew member. Oh, 
look at that. I didn't know I could do that. Cool. Several of your shots hit the enemy shooters, making them fall from the high ground. You start running as swiftly as you can. When you get to the elevator platforms, the group splits up and takes cover until finally the first squads manage to reach the upper levels. Civilians run from one side to the other, desperately trying to take refuge, but not all of them make it. You step on the platform along with your crew and another group of soldiers. You keep shouting out orders as loudly as you can. The path to take the upper area is divided into dozens of walkways and tunnels dug into the rock. The battle rapidly expands. And both sides cross fire everywhere. Watch out! You hear an explosion overhead and look up. One of the upper bridges collapses, causing several soldiers to fall into the void. You push Fernandez, preventing a huge chunk of metal crushing him. Thanks. Dust from the explosion forms a gigantic cloud which covers the entire area. The enemy fire doesn't cease and your formation is already completely broken. Your soldiers try not to panic and take cover as best they can from the enemy shooters. <sighs> Trying to think. Yeah, okay, so they've got position. So if you regroup, you're going to give them a bigger target. So I would think the smart thing would be is go after the higher levels. Oh boy. Oh, don't let me don't let me use one. Yep. Hmm. Oh, that was it. Get some. Hmm. Hmm. See, it doesn't say so. Two points. I wonder if that means that's how many points. Oh, okay. Action points required. Oh, okay. So it does. So. makes it much easier if i would have known this man i would have lost so many guys earlier Oscar. you make your way to one of the large platforms where you meet the group of soldiers you who've taken the area as soon as you get there every everyone salutes and one of the captain walks out commander astra we've taken control of the area and have captured several men we're ready to execute the prisoner. You look over your shoulder and see the prisoners on their knees as Polaris readies his rifle behind him. You scan the faces of those men and know something strange. Yeah, stop. You walk towards Polaris as Wagner follows you. Among the prisoners, you can see many children and elderly people. One of the youngest, perhaps five or six years old, cries out for his mother, desperately furious. You dress your men with a sharp tone. You point at the prisoners. Are you telling me that these children are soldiers of the renegade army? We've searched the nearby houses, Commander. They were hiding soldiers from the renegade army. You've been ordered to seize and execute them as traitors. Who gave that order? Captain Zerk gave the order. Of course that douchebag did. Reach them immediately. Our mission is to fight the enemy soldiers, not murder civilians. Wagner and Polaris look at each other. The lieutenant moves forward a bit, facing you. Commander, the renegade army has killed several of our brothers with the help of these people. These prisoners are guilty as the soldiers themselves. They're nothing more than traitors to the sun. Death is what they deserve. Polaris loads his weapon defiantly. Oh, okay. 
The, two, the lieutenant remains still while maintaining his defiant gaze. You already met the real Polaris at Ishner Gate when he murdered his two brothers without flinching right in front of your eyes. You still haven't given him what he deserves so as not to raise any suspicions and draw Emperor Nato's attention, but you're looking forward to it. Wagner's expression changes before scolding Polaris. Please excuse the lieutenant, Commander. Hey, you. You know who you're speaking to? He's Commander Astra. You had better obey or I'll arrest you for treason and have you executed. Polaris pulls out the knife and kneels over the little girl while still staring at you. You're about to jump on him when Polaris cuts the ties around the girl's wrists. You sigh and turn to the captain. Ooh. He and several men move to the upper levels chasing after an enemy group, sir. The intensity of the battle has decreased. The lower levels are already taken and the enemy and the enemies in retreat ascend towards the higher areas of the city as your soldiers push forward. Xerxes must have taken the lead heading higher and up in search of the remaining enemies. Follow Xerxes. The battle has split into different fronts on the top part of the city. Although it seems like a clear victory for your troops, the Renegade army hasn't given up and enemy soldiers continue to try to stop your advance from the highest levels of Hell's Gulch. You run, shooting down the men who come within range. The continuous explosions and the wrecked platforms make the ascent increasingly difficult. Enemies entrenched at the top take advantage of the positions to prevent the children's troops from moving forward. After several confrontations, you come across a small group of soldiers led by Zix. They're all undercover, waiting for the right moment to cross to the next platform. I'm here, Commander. What are you doing? You're heading straight up there, up, uh, straight for their trap. We've located the leader of the Renegade Army. I've seen him with my own eyes, giving orders to the rest of the platoons. He and at least 30 men are on the other side. We must cross at any cost. You had the vague hope that the leader was already dead. If Xerxes is tracking him down, you have no choice but to join him and pray that nothing gets out of hand. Well, back you, that you can push forward. You try to cover as you push forward. As soon as you are on the other side, give a signal and we'll follow you. Zerx nods. The shouts are lo as loudly as you can to be heard amid the shooting and explosion. Three, two, one, now. The group of Zerx run across the platform as enemies open fire. Taking advantage of the situation, you and your crew shoot down several renegade army soldiers. Although the captain's group suffers heavy casualties, when they reach the other side, Zerk's squadron splits. Not a minute passes until he shows up again and waves at you, confirming the path is clear. Cross over. You cross. You run across the bridge and regroup on the other side, taking cover again. You manage to cross, but the enemy outnumbers you, and the battle is getting increasingly fierce. Soldiers on both sides keep falling due to the crossfire, and your group is becoming smaller and smaller. Your men and Zerks cover your position while you follow the enemy trail. Turn a corner and find yourself in front of the house where the enemy soldiers you were following must have taken refuge. Zerks looks at you, waiting for an order. Let's be cautious. You both, because the fastest way to get killed is to run in someplace blind. You both stand on to the sides of the door and after a countdown, you kick it open. You get in quickly and look for some coverage as you shoot blindly. The enemies are in position waiting for you and the firefight is so intense that you barely peek out. At your feet, you find fragments of a broken mirror. You poke one of the pieces to see the position of the enemy shooters. Four men, two upstairs and two covering the stairs. You give Zerk directions and you Peek out, opening fire. One of the shots kills the first of the soldiers who falls over the rail. The other one receives an impact on his shoulder, causing him to recoil. Zerx, on the other hand, looks at you satisfied after taking down two perfect shots at the soldiers below. You go upstairs and follow the trail of blood on the ground. Maybe you shot your shot did more damage than you think. Or maybe the man's beating you into a trap. The wounded soldier appears to have crawled across the floor into one of the rooms, which remains closed. You signal the Captain Zerks and you lie down in front of the door as he gets ready to open it. If the man intends to open fire when the door opens, you'll have a few seconds before he sees you. Zerks pushes the door from the side and immediately the shots coming from inside go past you. With an accurate shot, you hit one of the man's hands, causing him to drop his rifle. Zerx enters the aiming end of the man, exhausted and leaning against the wall, raises one of his hands while the other one tries to stop the loss of blood. He looks at you, smiling, challenging, knowing his defeat. 
We meet again, Captain. Bailey, it's not possible. You, you. Xerx is completely shocked. The captain of the children has always proven to be a fierce and bloodthirsty soldier, but in the face of the stranger he remains paralyzed, barely able to articulate a word. Xerx lowers the gun as his face changes. His voice shifts from stupor to anger. You son of a, what actually happened in Antares? What the hell are they talking about? The guy named Bailey tries to say something, but a fit of coughing interrupts him. With his sleeve, he wipes the trail of blood and regains his speech. Come on, Captain. Even you shouldn't have noticed by now. It was you. You leaked our position to Quartzman. Bailey's silence seems to confirm Zerk's suspicion. You're not entirely sure what's happening, but you're beginning to figure it out. It doesn't matter anymore, Captain Zerx. It doesn't matter. This man was part of my crew, and he betrayed us all. Quartz men took us prisoners, and my men were all executed before my eyes, one by one. I myself heard Bailey beg for his life before, take, uh, before he was taken out of the cell. All this time, it had been him. He planned it all. Zerx is losing his mind. Without saying a word, you nod at Bailey. Zerx looks up at him and seems to notice shutting up instantly that man leaning pitifully against the wall has lost a huge amount of blood and can barely breathe ain't gonna last long just tell me one thing bailey why did you leave me alive if you wanted to show mercy you should have killed me along with the rest of my crew who knows maybe i did it on a whim or maybe so that you ended up finding me anyways here you are and i'm afraid this is my end Children of the Sun have lost, Captain Xerx. The Republic and the Renegade Army have signed an alliance. Our ships are already prepared for the final battle. That's ludicrous. Bailey smiles, although his voice is getting duller. You're so blind. You've been betrayed. Someone from the Children's High Command has been pulling the strings to allow the alliance between the Renegade Army and the Republic. Thanks to him, it won't be long before we strike. You're completely paralyzed. They know it. You don't know how, but the news has spread. This puts you in serious trouble. Why should we believe you? It's the truth. I've heard it from one of Sheep's soldiers, the leaders of the Red Tier. He's the one who's relieved course at the head of the Renegade Army. Your inside man and his crew met him at Peakville to prepare everything. Right now, Sheep and Mason must be leading the fleet into the children's sectors. Billy can barely finish the sentence. Once again, he coughs violently and chokes on his own blood. His face is pale and his eyes are increasingly glassy. Rick stands staring at him motionless. Why are you telling, us, telling this? I don't expect forgiveness for what I did, but this is the end. Anyways, we won. He doesn't finish the sentence. Zerx remains still, staring at Bailey's body. You slowly back away, getting closer to him. You weren't expecting this turn of events, but the existence of an infiltrated agent among the children's ranks has been revealed. Although they still don't know it's you... That man has given enough clues to mark you as a suspect. Clues that Captain Zerx knows. He may not be the smartest soldier in the army, but if all this information spread out, you're dead. Luckily by now, he's the only one who has heard Bailey's story. You put your hand on Zerx's shoulder, who looks at you puzzled. I'm sorry, Cap. I'm sorry, Captain Zerx. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, game save. This that's a major decision. Zerk's face changes for a second and suddenly understands what's about to happen. Your shots go through him, putting an end to his life in just a few seconds. Silence falls in the room while you stand looking thoughtfully at Captain Zerk's corpse. Until now, you've only, you've only felt revulsion for him. But now that you've had to take his life after listening to his story, you can't help but feel deep pity. You turn around walk down the stairs. You could have fatal consequences this could have fatal consequences captain zerk's men have seen you march with him following the enemy's trail if you don't want to raise any suspicions you better have a convincing story to tell regroup the troops you leave the house and meet up with the rest of the soldiers battle is over and your troops quickly begin the house to house search executing the hidden renegades army soldiers the state in which the city has been left is deplorable many of the bridges that connected the different districts are completely demolished and a dense cloud of smoke rises towards the sky as a result of the fires. Victory is yours and your mission has been completely successful, and yet you're far from feeling like you won. When you gave the order to attack, you knew very well that there would have there would be civilian casualties, but this has been an indiscriminate massacre. Wherever you look, you see nothing but dozens of dead bodies. In the end, when you've found yourself facing your target, you've had no choice but to assassinate Xerxes with your bare hands in order to safeguard the plan. Though the city, 
So the thought that this would have happened anyway doesn't comfort you in the least, and you sincerely hope that the sacrifice has been worth it. We're done here. Let's go back to Soul Invictus. Woo. So this Bailey knew the truth? He knew that there was an agent of the Republic among the Children of the Sun, although he didn't know his identity. One of Sheep's men must have leaked it. If the children find out about this... Do you think we're in danger, Captain? We are. If the Renegade Army is aware, Nardos will end up finding out and all he'll have to do is tie up loose ends until he finds us out. Finishing Zerks off has only bought us a little time. What are we going to do? We'll go ahead with the plan. It's too late to back out. May, set the course for the children's headquarters. Let's return to Sol Invictus. Woo! And that, my friends, is probably where we'll end it for the day. Thank you so much for joining me. I am really tempted to get a new ship. I just don't know. Anyways, folks, keep your heads down. Keep your guns up. Hit that subscribe button. And I and my group of ragtag spies will see you again real damn soon.